Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Monday, September 12th, 2022. It is 3.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is my coping with schizophrenia blog entry for today. Um, today I'm not doing too bad. My auditory hallucinations are at a minimum. My depression is not that severe. My anxiety levels are pretty low. My paranoia and delusions are not that severe today. Um, I feel generally calm today. Um, not a lot of physical pain or complaints that I have. Uh, not as much as I had yesterday. Um, I'm doing a lot better today than I was over the past week or so. Um, I have a therapy, not a therapy appointment. I have an appointment with my peer support specialist this Thursday on the 15th of September. Um, that's a person who has a mental health diagnosis who works as a counselor at my clinic and I'll be meeting with her on Thursday. I will be meeting with my psychiatrist on the 23rd of September and I will be asking him for an increase in my clonopin. I did ask him the last time that I met with him. Um, instead he increased my Zyprexa but then I had urinary retention, possibly because of the Zyprexa increase. And so we cut the Zyprexa in half, and I was able to have my urinary catheter removed, and I was able to urinate again normally. Um, generally, I'm doing okay. Don't have a whole lot of medical appointments coming up. Um, I did miss one today with my nurse practitioner in the gastroenterology department. Um, I'll reschedule that later. It was just a telephone appointment anyways. It wasn't something that was all that important to me. I just simply didn't answer the phone. Um, but uh, doing the best I can, I went out and did some food shopping earlier today, went to the bank, did my physical therapy, walking exercises, did some work on my computer. I do consumer surveys for extra money. I meditated this morning. I'll meditate later. There's a lot of good meditation videos on YouTube. I recommend um, Meditation Vacation, Jason Stevenson, Michael Seeley, um, Relax for a while. And there's quite a few other uh, good meditation videos on YouTube, guided meditations, and uh, meditations to help with insomnia and anxiety. Of course, those videos don't treat psychosis or any mental disorder, really, but they help as a complementary way of dealing with stress and anxiety and insomnia. Of course, you should always consult with your physician for any medical advice for any, for any medical or mental health condition. Um, I just find meditation very useful and very helpful. Another meditation channel I watch a lot is Tansy Forest and um, there's a few others. I can't remember all of them off the top of my head. Um, I listen to one kind of video one night or in the morning when I meditate and a different kind of video the next time it depends on what kind of mood I'm in what I'm looking for what I want to listen to um, there's talking videos there's visualization videos there's music and talking videos there's music and visualization and talking videos for meditation um, there's a lot to choose from on YouTube um, and I'm not getting paid by anybody to say any of these things. I'm just recommending meditation as a possible way of helping fall asleep in dealing with anxiety and stress. Um, of course, I take medication myself for stress and anxiety. I take Clonopin, I take Zyprexa, I take Seroquel, um, all designed to help me with my anxiety and different forms of agitation and insomnia and anxiety and worry and fear um, 
Not that you get rid of all those things all the time. Sometimes fear is a natural feeling and, and, so, and sometimes anxiety is a perfectly natural feeling. Depression can be a perfectly natural feeling. Um, but uh, I recommend meditation about twice a day to help deal with anxiety and stress. And the videos come in different lengths, anywhere from five to 10 minutes, up to two hours long, sometimes longer. Um, it depends on what you're looking for. It. Um, but uh, today is my 10th month, I think, without it, smoking a cigarette. Um, so I'm kind of proud about that. I'm still addicted to nicotine. I use nicotine lozenges. But I've gone for most of the year without cigarettes. And I was smoking two packs a day. So that's a good thing to report on. And I'm generally trying to eat better, lose weight, control my blood sugar because I'm pre-diabetic. And I'm try trying to control my cholesterol, blood levels through diet. Um, and to control my blood sugar through diet, my doctors didn't want to add medications to my list of medications. I'm already on a very long list of medications, um, both medical and psychiatric, and then medications for the side effects of the other medications. Um, but if I didn't take my medications, I would be homeless, I would be wandering the streets, half naked talking to myself. So, uh, Despite what the Church of Scientology says, I need to see a psychiatrist to keep myself stable. And I would just like to say fuck you to the Church of Scientology.